In this video, I will show you step by step how you can quickly restore your Windows 11 PC to factory settings. I will be providing two different methods of doing this because your circumstances may vary. The first method is suitable for most people, given that you can boot into Windows. Whereas the second method will be for those whose PC refuses to boot into Windows. You can use both methods if your PC can boot into Windows. Right click on the start menu. Then click settings. On the left panel, click system. Then scroll down till you see an option called recovery. Click on it. Then, under recovery options, on the right hand side here, you will see reset PC. So click that. A prompt opens up. The first thing it's going to ask you is do you want to remove everything or do you want to keep your files? I strongly recommend you remove everything as that truly incorporates a clean reinstall. Make sure you back up any personal files like documents, pictures, videos, and so on, because once the reset process is done, all of that will be gone. So, I will select remove everything. The next option will ask if you want to do a cloud reinstall or a local reinstall. If your Windows is severely corrupted, something seems seriously wrong. A cloud reinstall is a little better because it installs a fresh copy of Windows 11 right from the Microsoft server. Though this has to be downloaded and takes a little bit longer and requires an active internet connection. But if your Windows 11 machine, for the most part, seems okay, go ahead with a local reinstall instead, which is significantly faster. This page will show you what your current settings are. That is, what will happen when you reset your PC. Click Next. Finally, click Reset. The reset will begin, and here you'll see a percentage that it's preparing for the reset process. Once that preparation is completely done, it's going to immediately restart your computer. It will show a new progress bar in the form of a percentage, and your PC may restart several times. And this can take anywhere from a couple of minutes to a couple of hours, depending on the settings you chose and on how complex the reset process is for your device. Once that's all done, your system will restart, and you will be loaded into the Windows 11 installation screen. And you'll notice that the setup manager pops up. So, from here, you will set up your computer like you would with a new computer. Just follow the prompts to set up your Windows 11 device like you would for the first time. And just like that, you've done a clean install. No other steps required. Good job. Method 2 is for anyone unable to log or boot into Windows. In these cases, usually your computer will redirect you to Windows 11 UEFI, or the advanced repair option. It's basically a blue screen like the one you're seeing right now. From here, you're going to click on the option that says troubleshoot. After that, you will be asked if you want to reset this PC. Then go ahead and select the option that says reset this PC. Once that's done, you're going to choose between removing all files and keeping files. Again, I strongly recommend doing the remove all files option to make sure you get a true PC cleanup. But if you didn't have a chance to back up your data before this incident might have occurred, then you can select the keep all files option so that you at least have a chance to salvage your files potentially. Next, you will be asked if you want to do a local reinstall or a cloud reinstall. Again, if you've been having multiple issues and you've already tried resetting your computer in the past with a local reinstall, try a cloud reinstall. It will install a newer and more updated version of Windows 11 so that you are sure that you have an uncorrupted file. But for anyone else, just go with a local reinstall. It's usually faster. Next, you'll be brought to the reset screen. Here, it tells you everything that is going to happen when you click that reset button. Once you're ready to go, hit that reset button. Your computer will usually restart several times, and then you'll see the progress screen again, which shows you in the form of a percentage how far the reset process has come along. Once that's completed, you'll be brought over to the Windows 11 Setup Manager just like you would on a new device. Follow all the prompts to set up your device like normal. So, just like that, you've got a completely clean Windows. If you find the video helpful, click the like button and also subscribe to our channel. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comment section below.